pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, nigga, new best shoe pod, the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod. No bash your pot, no bash your pot, no bash your pot. And sometimes I talk about clothes, it's the new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot. Clearly. New best shoe pie. What time is it? What, 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 I mean, not what time is it? What episode is it? I think it's just nine. Nine. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, new Ten. best shoe pie, episode number nine. No, no, number nine. Number nine. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to do that. Um, <laughs> how you doing today, man? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, wait. I, I didn't, that didn't register. Try again. I'm uh, doing great. Oh, okay, okay. No, like it just didn't come through the speakers properly. <laughs> uh, like getting shoes? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. You know Take what? Easy. I got some shoes. But I've been wearing them already. and They're already dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what did you grab? Hey. Okay, I you got the nut. This is my second pair of all white Crocs, but these are the ones without the holes, so I can look like a, a nurse. I really appreciate these. Uh, shoes. What's those? The, the non slips? No, no, they're not even. They're not uh, those non slips are um. What's the guy's name who got uh, who got canceled? I think it's Batali. Yeah, Mario Mario Batali. Yeah, he got canceled and he made the kitchen ones. But I don't think they sell those anymore. But I also have a pair of those because, of course. Of course. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I got them shoes. But then you showed me some shoes. I was actually gonna start talking about Rick Owens, Doc Martens, but instead I want to talk about these uh shoes really quickly because this is a shoe you showed me. Oh man. Hold on. That's some bullshit. Okay. Oh, I found it. Okay. Check this out. Why, why'd you send me these shoes this weekend? It was a fire. <laughs> why'd you send me these shoes? Fire this week. Throughout this week, Dude, 992 sandals, my guy. Woo. These are actually atrocious. These look like they belong in Africa, <laughs> like only you know. Like, do you do you see that bottom man? That's that 992 bottom man. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All that is great. <laughs> like the bottoms. <laughs> I hate that I'm like actually the person that's not for this. Like I'm I'm never that type of person. I mean, hold on. I'm not gonna wear no old, like you no know, socks. You know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna throw some some you know some Uniqlo socks on with these. But like, <laughs> this thing yo, out <laughs> <laughs> nah. But that's that's hilarious. These are it. Yeah, these are 
it with a capital S H. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, like, like what made you th- what made you do this, man? Like you, I can't you, believe you're vouching for this. You've never vouched for showing your toes. You've never vouched for a slide like this. Like, why does it have holes on the side? Breathe. It's breathable. Breathe. <laughs> you can breathe out of the front and the back. <laughs> This is like a bunion hole, so you can like slide your bunion out. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? Why you want bunion? Hand- I'm sorry, I knocked the microphone. Why you want bunion handles? Yo, man, no, no, no bunion slander. Okay, we're not gonna this do that. Out. These are out. So yeah, I just wanted to start by you know pretty much letting you know that these are not. not- I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie though. Uh, I would like to see these in another color, but um, for the most part, these look cozy, and I'm all about cozy. All day. No, these no. I'm wearing these in the crib. I'm wearing these in the crib to take out the garbage, to uh, go to the corner store, to the bodega. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. (laughs) These are it. Even even for a Starbucks run. I'm going going to Starbucks in these. Actually. Actually. No, I guess now let's get to it. Now let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and just get right to the next, to the next <laughs> unique shoe of the week. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, Farfetch. Look at that. They said, hey, hey. They said, don't come around here. Don't come around here looking for for them Rick Owens, Doc Martens. Them shits are gone. Them shits are gone. I'm not completing any, I'm not completing any damn. I just want a picture. But I keep going to shopping sites. Blessings. Blessings. Salute. Salute. Uh, all right. Here we go. Yo, can I say one thing? You sent me, wait, wait. Before you even say that, you know you sent me these like three times this week. Because <laughs> you didn't say nothing. You just like, you're like, you're like, you're gonna speak on this shit. You're gonna, you gotta vouch for this. I know it's not a sneaker, but damn, look at them laces, man. God damn. Uh, so what do you think? Dude, like, I'm never unlacing these ever, right? Oh, my like, God. This has as like, many holes as a, any other shoe has. Get fuck, out of here. Uh, okay. That sounds, but like, like, a, that sounds like a Twitter take. That sounds like a dude, theme. Dude, I'm not going to remember how to lace these up. I'm going to lace them up different every single time. <laughs> that sounds like a fun, that sounds like a fun mission. <laughs> you feel me? But um, I don't know how you feel about these. Are you a Doc Martin guy at all, or? Um, I don't know. Like I've actually never owned a pair of Doc Martens. I've always thought about it, but then every time I go to like, I guess, think about it hard, like actually pull the trigger, I think like, nah, I saw a dude wearing these today, you know. So I'm like, I don't want to oh, get. Oh yeah. But uh, but I want. I always think like, yeah, I want to get some like. You know, like they're not terrible. Like I would get some super high ones, you know, as high as possible, or either some uh little shoes like the ankle, you know. But then I'd get those in like a color, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not mad at Doc Martens. Like I said, I just never have like gone out I, and got them. These are bad. I, These are. Have bad. you ever? Ha, have Martin. you ever? Have you ever I'm put your foot me. in a smaller one? Sorry to tell you, my bad. Um, what do you mean? Like one that's too small for me? No, 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 like a like a low, like a low top. Right? No, that's what I'm saying. I'd be into the low top as well. I've never Dude, been it, into any Doc Martin though. So I actually went to the Doc Martin store over on um, I think it's like half Fred Perry, half Doc Martin. It's on um Melrose. Um, dude, I I I like I like the shoe. I like the way it looks, but I'm a size 12, and they don't have half sizes. So it's either you go 11 and be, you know, your shit's is you know hurting. Oh, you go 12 extra big and you look like clown shoes. You, but you said you were a 12. Are you 11 and a half? Would you say? I'm like an 11 and a half, 12. Usually for bulky shoes, I'll go out, I'll downsize. So I'll do an 11 yeah. and a half. But, and then for like shoes that are like, like, you know, for a sneaker, athletic sneaker, I'll probably go, you know, 12 or whatever. But, mm-hmm. you know, a boot, 12. And I'm not that tall, like, you know, I'm 5'11". Maybe if I was yeah. like six and change, you know, it could nah, work you, out. You kick but. a nigga's head off. Yeah, so it, they just look like clown shoes to me. So I was like, I was sad that I couldn't. I couldn't. No, but them. um, just in comparison to a regular Doc Martin, what do you think about what Rick Owens has done to this Doc Martin? 
I think this is cool. You do? I think this is, I, I think this is tight. I mean, I don't think it's my style, but I think it's somebody's style. <laughs> that's very, uh, that's very. I mean, um, shit, them shit just sold out on the website, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's like a pentagram. Yeah, I think that's like a pentagram in the laces. Pretty crazy. Um, I'm not mad at it, but yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I'm pretending I like. I'm like, just because you saw it, like, I'm like, maybe I can see it. No, I don't see it. I don't like it. Sorry. I mean, who cares? I mean, like, you know, I don't. Jamal in 2021, he's not wearing these. Yeah. Yeah, I would have worn. Yeah, I would have worn these for sure in 2014. For sure. Let's go to a nice shoe and so I can be nice to Nike. No, that's not it. What the hell is you might want to put a sample? No, right there, release well, collab. Yeah. 2021 release. Who's it a collab with? I thought it was just para and dunk. So why does it not come up when I type in oh, para dunk 2021? Oh, wait a minute. I don't like these pictures. I like this shoe, all the other pictures I saw of it. Wait, it looked different. Yeah, why is one white? I've never seen this this closely. I don't know if I do like this shoe. They're mixing it up. What side do you like better, left or right? The one with the white, actually. Yo, tell me Travis Scott didn't make brown fucking fire on sneakers because, like, yo, everyone got brown on that shit, yo. Bro, I've already told you. That shit, wow. I don't. I think mochas look better than Travis Scott's. <laughs> it's bad. I don't know. Oh, Fuck. Man, I wanted I to like this shoe, good. but I'm not sure if I like it. And this is just the uh, pre, the, you know, nah. leak, leak pictures. And I don't know. Yeah, you know these are always bad at first, so they 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 might they might change this up a little bit, you know. Man, I really want. And didn't you say this. like it ba- is based on the laces too? Based on the what? The lace, <clears throat> the way it's lace. So I feel like if it's if it's laced a certain way, if it's on like foot, you know, I feel like it it brings it adds to it. Okay, I get. I remember what you're saying. Yeah, like when I was like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm sure somebody could kill these, like make them look cool, but. Man, I don't think I'm not. That's out. Travis Scott made brown cool. I made brown cool, dude. That suede on the toe that's actually that looks like good quality suede, too. Yeah, it does look good, but I mean, how are we gonna? We can't test quality off some fake pictures. You know? I mean, we've been we've been to sneakers for a minute now, though. But like, look at that toe. Go, go to the toe picture. No, yeah, I know what you're saying, but I'm just saying that we're not we can't be sure that this is like a real picture, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's we don't true. know that this is. A, this could just be like a sample or one of those pictures where they like change the color. Very, and shit. very true. Very oh no! True. Though. I mean, it could be a real picture though. Kind of, it's kind of close. That <laughs> bitch kind of close up. Yeah, yeah. man. How, how, how do you like? How do you like the 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 para para art? Like para the para birds, what? The the art, the artwork that they uh, have. Oh, it's nice. I like it. I think it's real wavy. Want me to type it in? Let's see. Yeah, some wavy stuff. I kind of wish you would like put a whole picture on the side of a shoe. Dope artist, man. Um, I was listening to one of their interviews, and um, it's like a dude that they that they're cool with. I guess they collab with. On yeah, all the yeah. uh, Nike shit and all their their clothes. Mm-hmm. He's uh, is he, I think he's from New uh from Miami, or from New York. I don't know. We just looked it up. It was a minute ago that I uh. He's from Amsterdam. That's oh, cool, man. That's artsy. Have you ever gone to an artist's artsy? No. This is a little game. This is a little game for you. Uh, if you go to an artsy and type in your favorite artist, you can see how much their paint, their pictures are selling for. Oh shit! Like, 
You see, they'll like say the numbers on the prices. For for some reason, I thought it would be a lot more. Honestly, I did too. Shouts to him for making it, you know. Exactly. Shouts to him. I'm sure he sells whenever he wants to, like whatever he wants to. Yeah. You can oftentimes see that's cool that they don't even say the number that it sold for. They say sold. Yeah, I Point like it. Yeah. Man. I I do this sometimes, all the times. Like not sometimes, all the times, but like uh, anytime I'm like looking up an artist, you can go to their artsy and see what they're actually numbering for. You can oh, look you know. up some some causes just to see. <laughs> say what? Yeah, we'll look up some cards just to see. So wait, I can't hear you. I mean, wait, one more time. Say some, word. some some cause, some cause. No, I don't look up cause. This nigga asked me. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Yeah, we'll look up some cause just for fun." <laughs> Let's look up cause. I've never looked up cause artsy. That's funny. I've never thought about it. Like, <laughs> if he even has one, he probably has. One. Everybody has one. I'm trying to tell you. They all say uh, that one's 60. Yeah. So they're about okay. 60 euros, which is about, uh, oh, 50, $59,000, which is 60 euros. I would guess. That one's only six grand, eight grand. Holy moly. But that's not the, this isn't even the highest I've ever seen stuff sell. So. I'm just seeing some, okay. you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. I had, I had, a, I had a couple of uh, sculptures. Um, not sculptures, but like you know the vinyl toys. Sorry, um, and those just was cool, man. I had to get rid of them. Yeah, feel me. Wait, why'd you have to get rid of them? I mean, price was going up on them, and I was like, shit, I need some bread. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Do you resell sneakers? No. <laughs> You're funny. All right. All right. All right. Um, the next shoe that you sent me numerous times this week, <laughs> but I appreciate it because both these shoes I wanted to think about all week. And what do you think about this girl right here? I want your opinion. Say you. You say something first. Uh, they motherfucker beautiful. The motherfucker is beautiful. You see that? It's orange. Yeah, orange. That bitch is beautiful. Okay. Just period. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Like the way, like, yeah, this shoe is fire. I was like, oh man, I want that. Like, I want, like, that's the type of shoe. Like, if you if you go to ASICs, you have to make a shoe like this. You know what I'm saying? I think like, I think Vivian Westwood does a great job on everything she does. Her and um I'm about to destroy this name. Uh, I think it's called Kinko, Kinko something. The, every collab that her and, and A6 do, or A6 and uh, and uh, Vivian Westwood and then Kinko, I'm sorry, whatever the other name is. Um, <laughs> y'all kill it. Y'all kill it every time. I always love your shit. Um, and these right here, I like these. I'm not gonna lie. I like. I like. Uh, I probably go with the black ones. But I love shoes that you could put on and you don't got to worry about the suede getting fucking messed up. Dude, every time I wear my Pierre Monsters, man, I love wearing them, but they're suede on the toe. And every time I wear them, I swear to God, the suede gets compromised every time. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh. and, I try, and I try my best to, not, like, you know, I'm not one of those, mm-hmm. like, try to walk like, you know. Yeah, like, you're not man, walking around like. Yeah, like a fucking robot and shit, you know what I mean? But, like, you know. I, but at the same time, I, I try to be aware, you know. But man, I, I be every time I wear my compromise and fuck it, the suede, man, and it's like fuck, and it's a tan suede. You feel me? So, but yeah, these are here, like I love throwing some shit on. I don't gotta worry fire. about. I don't gotta worry about no laces. I can just throw these on and, and keep it moving. You feel I want me? every and color. I, I almost wish it rained in LA a little bit more so I could wear these. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. Like I want every color. I want to wear these like anytime I get the chance. Like I want to like be like, yes. I uh, what is the number? What's the number on these? What's it? What are these costing? I didn't even look. 
are they less than five hundred dollars or more? Well, two fifty. What two fifty? Are they sold out though? Let's go to StockX with it. I even like the shape of them. Like the shape yeah, is cool, man. They're great. They are fucking great. Seriously. This is the shoe of the week for sure. Oh, that's not it. That's the Shout out to those. Shout yeah, out to those too. Um, yeah, well, what's up? I guess they're nah, they're gonna, they're probably, even if they're not out, they're leaked. You know, what the fuck? I just gotta type it in. What the fuck? You bitches ain't even on StockX, man. They better be available for me. They better be fucking available. All right, let's see what else we got. Big fat next. Um, man, let's talk about this shit. Let's let's talk about this shit. Let's talk about this shit. Let's talk about. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not leaving this tab all day. We'll leave this disgusting tab. Born. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I knew I knew I knew for a fact. I knew I knew it was gonna do that. I was like, as soon as I didn't type in Nike dunk contest, I knew it was gonna say, Yeah, you see? It's gonna give me. What are we what are we looking at? Yeah, they, they give me Nike design. I'm just trying, I'm trying to be a polite person and get, find the actual stupid ass dude that stupid um am i breaking up right now no you you're clear okay okay um big stupid nike dunk is put on for your city the winning dunk design will be custom made and sold with the winner getting a share out of every order swipe for details uh, the, this is on Nice Kicks, and apparently it's from companies called Born no- Born Nothing and Reverse Land. What do you think about this? See, so create a dunk on the website here. So, what I think overall, I mean, I think it's I think it's dope that Nike's giving people an opportunity. Um. I feel like low key they're looking. I don't know, like you know, you know. I feel like inspiration from the streets. That they, you know, they're trying to you know take a little inspiration from the streets. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they don't got all the answers uh, for, uh, for you know what's to come for Nike and Nike SB, Nike Dunk and Nike SB. Um, I don't know. Is this SB or is this just Dunk? Looks like it's just Dunk. Okay, all right. Oh, no, no, uh, no, no, no. It's SB. It's SB. Hashtag SB. have a Nike SB day. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, man, I think that, you know, they're, they're dabbling a little bit just to see, you know, what's in the water. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like maybe they're, they're getting a little dry over there. Um, a little dry, huh? Yeah, I mean, they pushed out a lot. I mean, it, what? All of last year it was fucking all these, cra- you know, all these colorways and, they, you know, they, they dabbled back into, like, the whole you know, I don't know. Just <laughs> there you go. There you go. This is culture how you, vulturing. How, how do you feel? This is pure culture vulturing. If you do this, you're an idiot. That's no. I mean, I mean. Okay, okay. I guess it's only not culture vulturing if they give the guy a job who wins. If they get, if they go, hey dude, you win, you now get a job at Nike, and you're the shit, and we'll also give you what's it called royalties on every shoe. Sure, that would be great. 
but hey. something tells me the whoever makes this shoe is not going to get royalties on the shoe. You so get some type like, of credit hey. though. You you get some type of credit though. <laughs> Get something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a nice high five. You get a data boy. Yeah, good job. Good job, kid. All right. See you later. Good fucking job, stupid. Thanks for the uh, <laughs> uh yeah, this is stupid. But, but I, I like I like that night you're doing this for the like, you know, for the people though. We gotta say the good and the bad. I do think they're vulturing a little bit, but I also think it's a good opportunity for kids. To like, you know, that creative expression, get it out there and actually be able to like, you know, make something, you know, make something real. So that's cool. I was going to do it and uh, Jamal, you know, talked me out of it. No, I didn't. I don't <laughs> want to talk you out of it. If you want to give Nike your ideas, give it to them. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. It no, really I'm not does. blaming if you. I, I wasn't going to do it. Yeah, if you want to, I mean... I, it's, I can't really tell you not to do it because at the end of the day, what if all you want is to see your design on a Nike shoe one day? Then do it. You know what I'm saying? If that's all you ever wanted. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad thing to want. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you think? I mean, no, but can you throw this on your resume? <laughs> yeah, I think so, for sure. <laughs> That's a, that's a, yo, you get a, you know, get a little, get to knock on the door of Adidas right after that, you know, like, hey guys, that's what I did. Yeah, and it, that's true, actually. Adidas will be like, we will respect you properly, or at least a, a slight, no, no, at least slightly better than Nike. You know, it's like, we will show you slightly more respect and love than Nike. So I, I totally hear you. I hear that. Uh, Shout outs to Nike for the opportunities. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, I want to show you this guy's TikTok. Have you remember the guy who who uh, last last week he was showing the quality of of the dunks? And did oh, I? Oh yeah. Uh, that guy's TikTok is the shit. I just want to shout him out officially. Uh, his name is Angry Joe on TikTok. And how do I explain this? He does really cool, like, sneaker reviews. Wait, not this guy. The guy named Angry Joe. Where's the guy? No, this is a hashtag. So, no, this is not This is not correct. But his name is Angry Joe. Ah, shit. <laughs> well, I thought his name was Angry Joe. Uh Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's The Angry Joe. All right, this guy's great. He tells you all the... Uh... Oh, no, no, we don't want to hear you not talk about shoes, bro. This guy's great, though. You know, I love this guy. Long story short, you know, we don't. Have to, I don't want to watch his reviews or all of them, but I love Ang the Angry Joe. He's great, man. He tells you like realistically, very unbiased. Like these dunks were made good or these weren't. You know, he said the bodegas were made good. You know, and I they look weird, but honestly, like we said before, like if you lace them up cool and blah 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 blah, they're actually they're actually not so bad. Like, I think you like those though, right? Yeah, the the one of the guys that designed that is uh from from uh, Rhode Island. So, you know, so shout out to Drew, Drew Barr. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Angry Joe is very unbiased in his in his review ship. That's the only reason I want to make such a point to show this guy. Like every like, you see these. He was like, these are. He just got back from a bike ride. And he, right here, <laughs> he just got back from a bike ride. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. I opened up the box and found nothing but pure garbage. Look at the way that toe is stone. Look at this. He's right. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I won't even know. Yeah, you see that I one's different than that. So. There's, a, there's a lot of factory uh, defects on the uh, the green ones and those ones. Um, I don't know what the, I don't know what was happening with those. I don't know. They would just like pump them bitches out. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's the same guy who did the video I showed a couple weeks ago where he was like, only these six shoes matter. You know, Puma Suede, Converse Chuck oh, okay. Taylor, Jordan 1, you know, Converse Attack High, Judas Pro High. You know, I was like, yeah, I like this guy. He's the OG. He rides a bike. What, what's his name? What's his name again? The Angry Joe. Shouts to The you. Angry Joe on TikTok. He's, he's fire. Yes, sir. Who else we got? What else we got? Up in her, up in her. What you been looking at all week? Um, you know what? I've been seeing a lot of the uh, the black uh, easy clouds. I guess is the nickname for them. Oh the yeah. Cloud. Um, they actually look really. Uh, they look a lot better. Cause I wasn't a fan of the what is it? Yeah. Sail a <laughs> gray colorway yes. one. This nigga. This nigga said he was. <laughs> You're just not a fan because they're white, though, right? Oh, where are they? I knew I knew I was gonna have to go to the Instagram. Like that's <laughs> oh wait. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. These exist. Have you seen these possibly coming? Um, I did. Yeah, I didn't I either. Thought, uh... I thought it was just the, the, the black and white ones. But. Yeah, I did too. I just Googled it and found these. Um, I'm not mad at these either. They also, yeah, yeah, like we said, they've been going around with the white bottom. Yeah, yeah, these are cool. When I see it on another colorway, I, honestly, it looks a lot better. I don't know what it is, man, about Kanye. Like, I feel like the first colorways be like, eh, and then the second one, he like, all right, motherfucker, like, let me show you how it really looks. <laughs> Let me show you what I was actually thinking. Really? This is what this is. What but he loves you type in black. But is it isn't that weird marketing? Like, shouldn't you want to like put the head up the first time? No, he wants to like fuck your head up in a bad way. Like he wants the confusion with the first drop, and then he wants to hit you in the head, like, yeah, nah, this is it, you know, this is this is what really was up. Like, like I don't know. I just feel like the the better color with no, I see it. Like, do you feel like the, the the Kanye drops, like, you know, he throws out there, like, the kind of the throwaway colorway, and then and then after he shows you what the norm or, like, what people um, would gradually go to later? I think that, I think that when, when it comes to hype and you're doing hype stuff, it's kind of like you have to do it like that. I mean, I think Travis Scott just did it like that as well <laughs> with these, uh, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, what was it with the blue and what uh, fragment i'm sorry fragment <laughs> with the fragment uh fucking uh you know with the fragment ones that he just did because it's like you basically you basically have to give the hype beast shit first like you have to give them a piece of shit i use the term shit uh, negatively like you have to give the hype beast anything like something that anybody like they will just buy because it's hype you know first and then you have to get the real people that were that are that don't believe in you. Again, you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like that's the way you should do it with with uh with like any art, you know, like get the people out, out of the way that aren't gonna be for real. You get what I'm saying? Like get the people out of the way that don't just love you for you, and then do the thing that's like, hey, you guys love me for me. You guys been hyping my shit, you know, that's great. So now I'm gonna give you guys this really cool colorway because I fuck with you. It's the same thing as when you get like a director's cut, you know, it's like you give you, you give every, you give them this thing that's like decent and then you go, all right, you guys, thanks for fucking with me. Here goes the real super dope cut that I wanted to give you, but I couldn't because I had to give, I had to give you an all white shoe because everybody's going to buy an all white shoe. You know, it's like yeah. all white shoe is the most hype, regular hype thing. You can, there's no way you could have started with black, you know, you just couldn't have started with black. Well, the Pirate Blacks was the first 350. Yeah, but yeah, you're right, though. You're right. I'm not going to, like, I just don't think this would have worked black first. Like, just the way it would have been, like, a basketball shoe or something. Like, it would have been perceived as that, you know, more. What what season What season is Kanye on right now? Do you, do you know at all? Uh, yeah. Eight, he's, nine. Yeah, he's up there. So, I was going to say, like, he's already... He's already showed, 
You know what I mean? Like, I feel like now people already trust him. He's already got the trust. You know what I mean? I mean, shit from the Nike, we trusted him. Before that, we trusted mm-hmm. him. But like, but like, you know what I mean? Like with the Adidas line, because you know, when yeah, he he's got, from the, Nike he's got to, the monetary trust. Like he's got yeah. numbers to show that he's, you know. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like now people just trust the colorways that he comes out with no matter what. So I think he could have came out with a gray, a black, you know, any of the earth tone neutral fucking colors. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. But I don't know. I, I he think, come I out, think he could have he could have come out with a brown. I'm actually waiting for this shoe to come out in brown. I think when it when it comes out in brown, then people are just gonna their heads gonna be like, Oh, I'm all the way on board. Like now it makes total sense. I'm like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> or what Depends. if it came out in a uh, beluga? you know type colorway I, I i can't wait like i'm not mad at this like wait till it comes out in some some colorways that aren't white and black you know then when he starts adding his little tones and shit to it you know it's like mood board weird colors of like the sunflowers and shit I'd be like okay okay but that's crazy though like like would you say that for the 700 v1s like would you say that the the, the sunflowers are the best ones Out of the seven hundreds, uh, it wasn't that many colorways of the seven hundred. Maybe, was yeah, no. maybe not. Probably the blue ones. Or do you think the OG there. original? Yeah, that's the blue ones. Yeah, the blue ones are probably the best. The all blue. Yeah, like the ba- the lighter blue. You know. Okay, the, okay. The lighter, you know, the lighter blue with like the black. I kind of, I, I, I kind of get. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I kind of get mixed up with them. So sorry if I like take a minute. Oh yeah, I'm, like so, no, no, I, I literally get mixed up with every shoe. We the, every time we uh the know. way the way he <laughs> the way he names them is just like three fifty seven hundred. Yeah, that's what I was telling. I was telling my friend the other day. I was like, "What is a beluga? I think it's like a beach. You know, I think it's like a it's beach. Doing, it's like a place." where it's like the beach he names his he names his colorways off of like just like vibes like yeah it's, it's cool yeah literally I, who was the first one to do that i think it was pharrell no no or was I think, it kind of i think nike did that or like adidas or somebody i think companies did that back in the day like i think colors are made off of vibes in general <laughs> no sometimes i it mean makes that, sense. yeah like canary is obviously probably the color of a canary but like I think a lot of colors are like garden mist or some shit, you know, and that's like a vibe. You talking about uh, uh, what's that uh, that store called? Uh, I'm gonna say Bed Bath and Beyond, but what's the other one? Um, they have the perfume sprays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, what's it called? Bath and Body Works. There you go. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <Some>, uh, <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Speaking of Kanye, that man's worth, is he worth six billion or is he like, you know, is he really worth six billion or is he worth uh, 1.6 billion? Because first to report, first, I think it was him, his people or the reports came out that it was, that he was worth six billion. And then the next day, I think it was Forbes put out a report and said Kanye's wrong. He's actually worth 1.6 billion. Now, Mm. you know, they say that six billion would make him the richest black man of all time. So wait, so is is he talking about him or his company's worth? I mean, isn't no, it no, a difference? they're talking about him and all his companies. Like they're factoring in his deal with Adidas, his Yeezy line, his like uh, you, you know, uh, his music. You know, they're factoring in everything. Okay. So now is that a number that he could throw out there? Is that like actual like they they're really uh, he he actually evaluated uh he actually evaluated his gap deal in it too and they took that out and he also put in like some livestock that he owns and they took that out. So you know like Forbes took that out and we're like nah nah we can't count that because you haven't even the gap deal hasn't started yet, you know. And they're like, you can't count this livestock. We didn't count them type shit. To be honest, though, that gap deal is going to be crazy. He's going to kill it. Exactly. I'm excited for that, actually. Yeah, I this I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Um, Kanye's rich. <laughs> Kanye's rich. But now, now, do you feel like, my bad, do you feel like uh, 
uh, Kanye jumped over Michael Jordan, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do you really yeah. think that he, he jumped over the, the jump man? Damn, I wonder if, if Kanye is richer than Jordan's. Like, what is, what is, like, let me type in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are you ready for this share, scr scare, share screen? Are you ready for this share screen? Scare, oh, scare, yeah. scare screen? Scare, scare. Yeah. You ready for scare screen? Scare screen, man? Scare, scare screen? Let's get it. Look at that. They're worth the same thing. <laughs> the fuck? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> if Kanye is worth 1.6, like at on the low end, you know, like you said, like Kanye estimated himself or his people say he's worth 6.6. .6. But even if Kanye is worth just what Forbes says he's worth 1.6, he's still worth as much as Jordan. So so the, I was looking in the comments. Um in that, that post that someone posted. And they were saying that, like, they say that Jordan, the reason why Jordan isn't as much as Kanye is because, you know, you know, back in the day, you know, Jordan was, you know, didn't own his company. It wasn't Jordan brand, you feel yeah. me? Like they made it, you know? And I'm sure like Nike takes a lot out of that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, I feel like for there to be a Kanye where he is now, Jordan had to, you know, take, had to fail. You feel me? He had to. He had to take a couple L's, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, for sure. For you sure. You know, um the real question is 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 Kanye worth more than uh than like uh what's his name? Magic Johnson. Yeah, but Magic Johnson he, he does he invests in so much shit. He's he's like an owner of shit. Like that nigga be owning shit. Shout out to Magic Johnson. Well. Guess what his net worth is? What is it? <laughs> he said, what is it? Uh, 750. 750 million. So, He's low? Low? You know, it's not Maybe. poor. He's not poor. No, I don't know. <laughs> you know? I, don't know. Right. I don't know. But, but he, this dude owns mad shit, though. Like, you I know. think that he, like... Um, but, you know, the thing about the thing about internet net worths, just like Kanye says, he says his net worth 6.6. .6. He's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, internet networks is just based on things that the public has access to unknowing. Do you get what I'm saying? So oftentimes people either own a lot more or sometimes pe the public can overestimate what you own based on debt that they don't know about or contracts that you've signed with people, you know, that they don't know about. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. These are not, they're more or less estimates. You get what I'm saying? All right, it's, not, all right. it's not like this is the law. You know what I mean? Yeah, they didn't like fucking have an audit on this nigga. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel, I feel that. But I, you know, another thing I think he's doing, He's. I think he's uh, manifesting. And you know how Kanye is, man. You oh, tell yeah, him he right. can't do, you know, he can't do and shit like that. He, he, he always overachieves. He always like achieves that goal, and he always like you know he always levels up. So I think he's manifesting it. He's saying it, and then he's gonna he's gonna definitely get there because he's done his whole career. You can't yeah, not I mean, find it because like I've shit. realized throughout. I don't know if this this pandemic or what, but I've realized that money go up. You know, so it's like if you invest in stuff, the money gonna go up. <laughs> Long story short. Yeah. Um. Let's Yo, did talk. you ever? Did you ever find, uh, like a way to fucking uh? Sorry to cut you off. Um, did you ever find a uh um uh, a way to uh yellow your shoes yet? Like like to age your shoes? Well, that thing you sent me. What is it? Wait, what are you talking about? That place you sent me. Uh, you don't remember sending me that. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Throughout the week, you sent me this this page, a place called Foxtrot Uniform, Uniform, and it basically is exactly what you just said. Like you can yellow up sneakers. Uh, oh yeah, I did send you this. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. See, you got the stainers, and you can stain the bottom of your sneakers to different colors. 
<laughs> <He's>, <laughs> they that, call it uh, sale. <laughs> because sale is the hottest color of the year. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Shit, how much do these even go for? These. What do you mean, the stained sneakers or the the yeah. the, uh, the solution that he uses to stain the shoes? Uh, I don't know. It'd be nice if they tell us, but it feels like it's maybe a little bit more. Oh, word. Hey, man, but that's that's definitely your. Uh, I don't know. Your... I don't know. Huh? Yeah, you ain't know. feeling it? I don't know if I ever I feel good about that. It, does, it feels manufactured. It doesn't feel real. I like, mean, no. if you look at the shoes that he's staying, those look pretty worn. No, no. It warm. looks, it, it, as far as the look of it, it looks exactly the way I would like. I'm like, I like that look. But I'm not sure if I'm invested in. But in because my, you know, because you yeah. know that it is. Okay, I got it. No, no. It's not even because I know. It's because. It's like saying, it's like saying, it's like this. It's like, if I want my shoe to be dirty, it's because I'm lazy. You okay. get where I'm going with this? It's like, uh -huh. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go out of my way to be lazy. Does that make sense? It's like, if it's like, that wouldn't be, that's not being lazy. You get what I'm not. <laughs> you get where I'm going with this? It's like, I I'm not being lazy. lazy if I'm just, if I'm doing something. <laughs> You know what I mean? I didn't want to do anything. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Like, <laughs> like now it's like you have to do something. That's all I'm saying. Nah, that makes sense. That makes complete sense. But, it feels um, kind of productive to the idea of letting my shoes do whatever they want. This feels like I'm in turn doing something. You know, that's hard. That you know. But that's your realm. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like, like no, you know, no. Like that, I would rather that. I would pay a person to do this. But you're not about to go and fucking scrub the shit out of the soul to make it look, <laughs> yeah, to like, make it look old. Yeah, I'm like, well, I look, like I would rather just I wear them, I guess. Like even my even my um even my like any of my shoes that I'm like trying to actively make dirty. It's like I it's it's tough, but I just don't want it to be not natural. Look at these yeah. bodegas. Whew. These bodegas are not bad. He's a, he's a Everybody party. hated them when they came out. I don't even think yeah, these are so good. much hate. So much hate. I, yeah, I don't even, even consider these Jordan ones. No, they're not. They're dunks for sure. Oh, but like dunks. I was, yeah, yeah, I was skeptical. I was skeptical at first myself. Like I, first, I'm talking about first, first pitches, and then my sister, my sister co-signed them off. Her, she's like, "Kid, these are I'm getting these. I fuck with these." Like I was like, I was like, yeah, and I started to, you know, like when my I, I trust my sister's judgment when it comes to sneakers. So I'm like looking at the shoe more and I'm looking at like, cause more pictures are popping up and I'm like, yeah, these are, and then it's like, and then they came with different laces. Like, you know what I mean? You could just freak them different ways. So it's like, like, oh my God, you gotta think about when it ages. Suede ages different, leather yeah. ages different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Based on the person's foot, you know what I mean? Like I noticed too, I'm about to like jump a little bit, but like, I noticed too, like when uh, me and my my girl was like uh, downtown and we was like walking around. I feel like your shoe gets, you know, beat up a little bit more just from being downtown. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like like downtown LA, it's like you know it's a little bit more grimy oh, man. on that. You know oh, what I mean? Like right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me pull up this really quick. Um, this is a picture of some fucking fragment threes that they made into or fragment threes that were created from probably that similar shit. That you're just showing, right? Just creating shoes? That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, you can't even see that. I'm sorry. I didn't know I wasn't sharing. I'm sorry, guys. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, these are heat. Whoever did this, shout out to what is it, Chef? I don't know. I'm telling the rest of that. Yeah. No, no, no. Fu Fuji Hour is the person who made the original shoe. Oh, yeah. Shout I'm out sorry, to you for making the original Chef shoe. Yeah, but shout Chef out to, Hule. shout out, yeah, Chef Huel. Shout out to you for making these, man. Cause yo, you freak these. These actually need to be released because, man, yo, you made this shoe shit like Alcock ASAP. Yeah, this is perfect. You know I'm not a fan of white shoes, 
And this right here. This thing's beautiful. This is a beautiful shoe. I'm not going to lie to you. Man. Kid did his thing. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. It's crazy because it was like really like like subtle changes he did to it. Like it's still the same shoe, but he just changed that that back tab blue. Not the back tab, but like he changed like the I don't know what is what, what part of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He turned that blue. He turned the back tab like yellow. He he aged the 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 sole and the laces. And man, like the shoe looks like a completely different shoe. Um I'm really feeling this shoe. I would like to see the bottom of it though. I would like to see the uh, the bottom of the sole. But yeah, I think he did his thing. For real, for real. Thing. All right. Uh, speaking of that, niggas doing their thing. Like, I ain't gonna what, what looks good. Wait, wait, wait. Next up, we got V very own. These shoes that you were sleep on last week. Sleep okay. on like a fucking baby. Sometimes I gotta I gotta throw it out there, guys. Like you got to uh give it a shot. You gotta look at the other colorways, you gotta look at a different, you know, position of the shoe, a different picture of the shoe. Because man, I and now my foot is in my mouth, you know. <laughs> I I mean there's there's oh, you know, that's the all shoe. you got is those little pictures. What, what's the one? I, what's the one that I sent you on IG? Oh no! Excuse me. You people are gonna show me this shoe, or else. And we found this fucking babes. We found the two thousand two R's. Finally, is this a real who 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 the fuck took this picture? I mean, I guess that's okay. something we won't know. Maybe maybe the shoe, the shoe game. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, no. MVP dot DG did it. Oh, all right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the shoe's great. The shoe's great, and what like I told you, the teeth is the best part, and that's the thing about bape like that's the thing about even what you were saying before you're like bape's done i was like what do you mean done it can't be done if it was if it was ever good it's never it can never be if it if it were ever good then you saying it's done is saying that you didn't really like yourself or like you didn't really like it when you liked it you get what i'm saying no 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 so i'm gonna say this when I, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're right partially, but I think by Ego saying that he separated himself from Babe, it did something to me as a fan. I was like, okay, well, these people, whoever is coming in doing what you've already done and then the extra shit that you're doing, that they're doing, you know, some, like for instance, when, when Nigo had it under his belt, he was like, you know, the moves he was making with the company was, was like, oh, it made sense. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, oh, all right, that makes sense. You know, but but like the, the, whoever bought it, you know what I mean? They're like fucking collab, 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 collab with The weekend, my nigga. Like collab with like, I'm trying <laughs> to think of just other like people. But like, it's just, it just don't make no sense. You know what I mean? It's not a collab. And I'm just like, don't get me wrong. I love the camo. The camo is forever. Like, you know, but I grew from the clothes to like, if I'm going to have babe in my, in my crib, if I'm going to have babe, I'm going to have it in my crib and I'm going to have the accessories. I'll buy a coaster. I'll buy an umbrella. I'll buy like a dog bowl or something. You know what I mean? Something like low key in the cut. You know what I mean? But it's that. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to buy no babe shirt anymore like that to me it isn't it's not it's not nothing to me anymore you know i've grown past that i've, I've done it i've done the hoodie the shark hoodie i've done the shirts you know i've done the shorts i've done sweats cool but i'm over it you know what i mean i'm over it you know 
I still respect it because of Nigo, you know, but I just, just I don't know. It's so, just... a TikToker told me, or, you know, I was on TikTok the other day and it made a really good point. Um, and I knew all this stuff that the TikTok said, but when they just, when they put the information in front of me in the way that they put it, it really made me think about it in a different way. And um, you know that Nigo, he was a huge fan of Pharrell before he met Pharrell. Mm -hmm. And you know, and he met the same jeweler. Yeah, yeah he met the same through, jeweler. But do you know how the jeweler, why the jeweler told Nigo about Pharrell? Because he was copying Pharrell's. Okay. He was, he was copying Pharrell's stuff. Okay, okay. Um, so basically, Nigo is a guy who was like, man, I love what Pharrell does in every way. I love all the ideas he has. I can help bankroll it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't see Nigo bringing in, in, any aesthetic to the situation. Like, I don't see him bringing, bringing the, like, I don't see him, oh, Nigo was wearing, he was, he was inventing this thing and then he brought that to this thing. I just kind of see him saying, I love hip hop culture. I love this stuff and I love this stuff. And what if I made it like with high quality and with Pharrell's inspiration? Um, with that being said, I feel as if when I listen to Pharrell's uh, sooner or later, come crashing down, crashing down. Woo, woo, woo. You know, <laughs> whenever I hear that song, I think this song is timeless and will last forever. Not not, you know, this musical cycle or, you know, this cycle of, oh, this will be in for a year or a couple years or Pharrell's going to be in and then out, you know. I'm pretty sure that that music and that generation of music was classic and it wasn't a trendy thing. It wasn't just of the moment. You get what I mean? So whether or not whoever bought like that design, like just like you said, the camo, I feel like the camo is just as classic as NERD music, meaning yeah. that you can still, just like these fucking shoes, you can put it on a new thing, you can sample it today, it's still going to be a classic. So I get every, I mean, anybody can say whatever they want. Hey, man, I don't, they make, I got a new instruments now. I don't want to hear no guy singing on the, come crashing down. You know, I don't want to hear that crybaby singing. It doesn't make it not classic. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? I, Even if people I go, hey, Lil Nas X is the number one artist this year. He's the best. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That doesn't make Pharrell's music not classic. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't make uh, this Bape shit not classic. You know what I mean? So I, that's how I feel about Bape and all of it. And like today, I look at an old piece of Bape and say, wow, that's a classic. I look at a new piece of Bape and I say, wow, this is the same aesthetic from the classics because even the new people, they didn't change the camo. You know, when they change the camo, I'll be, I'll stop fucking with it. I'll say, I hate bait. They're stupid. They changed their camo. You know, that's like yeah. saying we took another guy and made him sing Pharrell's part. It's like, ugh, why would you do that? You know, we want to hear Pharrell sing it. But as long as Pharrell is singing it, aka as long as this camo and these teeth are killing these shoes, give me all the collabs, give me all the bait shit, blah, blah, blah. Because at least they knew better than to, they didn't switch up the right shit. You know, they didn't, they make the same fucking hoodies every year, blah, blah, blah. If you guys don't like the hoodies, then it's cool. If you don't like, if it's, it's like saying, if you didn't like, uh, if it's like, cool, we, I'm not telling you to walk around with the skateboard, but we're also telling you that you didn't, you didn't have to walk around with the skateboard in 2006 when Pharrell was doing it. You get what I'm saying? It's like, you didn't, there's no, you never have to wear bait. But you never had to wear bait, you know, everybody. You never had to, you know, think this, it, it's not, you know, they didn't change it because it's a forever thing. You know, it's a forever thing, you know? And I think a lot of people are are, are, are being really rude to bait. And they're really saying like, oh, like it's like spitting in the face of your cool uncle who got you all your first CDs, you know? This guy got you all your first CDs. He got you your first piece of, he gave you your first beer. He was cool to you. Now you, now you're making fun of him because he's wears FUBU, you know, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He was your OG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bape was your OG, motherfuckers. Stop acting like Bape didn't raise you niggas. 
You know, like Bape raised raised Nick Diamond. Bape Bape raised these niggas. Like Bape raised the culture. So I'm sorry. that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Not, and not I, going I, into I, it. No, no, no. I, I, I completely feel you on that. But like, let's. Like, I'm gonna throw a different question at you. So it's like saying like champion right now is champion like what it was back in the day. I you feel exactly it? that's a great thing to say because I feel exactly the same way. Which is but, if you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. Don't just like it if it's because it's in fucking urban outfitters. But I heard that you were saying like in the thrift culture that or the thrift world or whatever, uh that you was like, you know, a lot of a lot of pieces ain't the same no more because you have to put a certain amount of plastic in it and whatever. It just mm -hmm. isn't it doesn't stretch the same, it isn't the same. Isn't that, doesn't that, doesn't, that's what I'm trying to say. Is the no, people, that's based on years though. That's not based on brands. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's not based on the brand. That's based on the year it was made. Like, so older clothes is made with, in different factories. Like it's made with different materials that you can't use now, but every brand was using those materials when they could. And now every brand is using plastic because they can't, so, you know, every brand so, is so, synthetic. So what did you, what did you say the same thing about, the feel like I'm I'm gonna use as Nigo as the you know not the plastic you feel me like it was the purest of at that moment in time you know what I mean and then when he sold it I almost feel like he should have never said nothing because it would have been better for the company afterwards but you know Nigo isn't the plastic and then the company that came in the boy is the plastic you feel yeah, me okay so okay. so that that's where I'm at with it like I'm like Fuck. Oh, like, you're right. You're right, though. No, no, don't get me wrong. You are completely right. The dope is cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, the dope is cut. It's not pure. <laughs> but, but I'm just saying it's still the same dope. You know, it's it's not pure. It's not the same pure dope, but it's still dope. It's still the same dope. Like, so everybody's saying, oh, well, that's not only the, that's like saying, like, you know, it's like saying I don't smoke weed anymore because uh, now weed's legal and it's got these stupid, like, you know, you can't go get the gas from the place where I used to get the gas from, you know? <laughs> I, I now have to go to this place where they ask my ID and the government's involved and all this stupid shit. Yeah, that sucks. But it's still weed. I'm still going to smoke it every goddamn day. <laughs> like, I'm still yeah, smoke this yeah. Shit. No, no, you're right. You're completely I'm right. I'm a pothead. I'm still going to smoke it, you know? But not if I'm a fake, trendy smoker or if I'm a guy who's just like, well, I just wanted to smoke, you know, because it was the time and, you know, it made sense. All right, well, then... Stop everybody. And this is a public service announcement for everybody who's ever smoked weed, like, or smokes weed and shit. If you're going to smoke weed and, and just be lazy and then two months later say, I don't smoke weed anymore because I was lazy, then you should never have smoked weed. You're, good, you're just a lazy person in general, bit, you pussy. There you go. <laughs> That's my story. I, I feel that. I feel that. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Good, good, good. That's a good ass point. Man. You got me ranting. Um, We're 75% in. I'm, I'm, I've begun the rants. Um, but yeah that's my whole point is that that's how i feel about this babe shit is like if you put bait print on anything i already like i should like it more because i like bait print and i already like these new balances so i should like it more period everything like all that other shit is fake like if i if i but if i if it was something i didn't like you know if it was something i was like oh i don't like that already and then you put a bait print i'm like eh, i might not like it or i might like it because the bait print helped it but the point is I already like both of the elements of this. So you could basically tell me the idea and I'd say, yes, please give it to me. And they'd say, well, we're going to make it really shittily. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. As long as you put the print all over it, I'll take it. You know, <laughs> fucking I'm stupid. But, but um, I don't know. I think, I think also too, so, to, so I said how I felt about it, but like also like, you know, I think that it, it's a cool shoe. I think the teeth could have, you know, we could have missed it with the teeth, but uh um, I think it's a good shoe. You know what I mean? Like you said, camel's classic, man. The camel's classic, and and that's what I love about it. I yeah, I don't like how big the teeth get in the back. I, I hope they don't get so big, but we'll see. We'll see. But I think it's a cool shoe. I, I love I love the 2002 R. I own it. It's a good shoe. It's a comfortable shoe. And then that with the you know the vape uh, camel print on it, I think that'll be even like doper. Um, but yeah, shout outs to uh, vape and uh, New Balance. The class. Yeah, shouts out to shouts out to Bape. Shouts out to Feral, uh, Negro, all the guys. 
and back. Wait, 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 can I say? All right, we're on. Is they say, wait, wait, like we weren't paused or anything. <laughs> it was just smooth transitioning. I don't know what I want to call this segment. I don't know if I want to call it uh, kicks in the street, creeping on feet, you know, something like that. Creeping on feet. I don't know. Yeah, this is me creeping on feet where I walk around and take pictures of people's sneakers downtown LA. Um, let's see what we got this week. What the fuck going on? Oh, I've been seeing a lot of these shoes. The, pre- the person who owned them called them Li Ning. I've seen a few pairs of these Li Nings. Have you seen these? Uh, Can't really. That's cool. not. That's the better picture. Okay, yeah, those look cool. Um, it was it an Asian person? <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah>, yo. <laughs> Wait, listen, 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 listen. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm actually curious. I'm actually curious. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually curious though. You're, you're laughing. You're laughing, but I'm actually curious. Uh, stop Asian hate. Yes, it was an Asian person, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Like, you know, I understand what's going on right now in the world, but, like, you know, I'm just asking. Shit. Just this curious. is me. But, yeah, I see a lot of these Li Nings. That's what she, that she said they were called. She said they were from China. I'm not, I don't know if this person was from China. I also saw, I also always <laughs> see weird Ultra Boost people. This is a white person wearing leanings. You can tell. Okay. All right. Mixing it up. All right. See, this is a different colorway. You that boot cut, man. I mean, not boot cut, but that that jean. What is what's up with that? It's like a mom jean or dad jean or whatever. A lot of people wear those downtown LA. This was a dude or a woman. That was a person that was probably female gendering. Really? hmm Swag. He was good looking too. I like it. I like yeah. it. He was a good looking person. I like it. Yo, every yo, where do you hang out downtown? Because man, I uh I go downtown and I don't see this. I don't see this at all. Uh you know, the streets. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> no, I mean I, like, I, like- <laughs> I don't want to tell I don't want to tell fucking viewers where they can fucking come kill me. But just you know, in the streets somewhere. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, like, I saw I these like supreme, uh, supreme, uh, you know, Air Maxes, and I just realized that people. Oh my god, I did see Supreme Dunks. Oh my god, I saw I saw like three pairs of Supreme Dunks this week. So just so okay. you know, they are getting they are getting ward. People are wearing them. I like uh, the Supreme uh, Air Max Pluses though. By the way, those are nice. Yeah, we I were in. Like I was in Metro or Metro PCS, and like I told you last week, you're definitely gonna find people wearing Yeezy 350s in Metro PCS that work there. So I just want to prove that point. You got your uh, bapes. This nigga's walking around, still baping it up. This guy wanted to put his foot in the picture. I was like, all right, fine, fine, cool gray guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's wrong with Cool Gray 11? I was just Hold taking on. a picture of the bait guy because I, they're just not a super rare shoe, is it? I mean, you know, I, you know. What's a shoe, a, a super rare shoe? I mean, I know people die over the shoe. I know that. I'm not... Wait, wait, you said the homeboys, homeboys, uh, babes, uh, is, is rare? I've never seen it. What is it, just My this guy. season? My guy, I'm trying to tell you, man, like, like, is that so just the great. vape that comes out this season? I'm not not I'm not knocking homeboy, right? Those are cool shoes. But I'm just saying the vapes that were with Nigo, that were our conversation before, and the vapes that are now shoes. <laughs> whoa, nah, nah, bro. The toe. It's the toe. Again, I'm not knocking homeboy. Those are cool shoes. I'm not knocking. I'm just yeah, saying. I'm gonna let that opinion bro, live, and you might be right. You might be right, so I'm not even I'm gonna not, like fight that. Okay, all right, right, right. right. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to diss nobody, because there's a couple people out there I follow that are like they're all about the new babes, and I'm just. I'm not shitting on nobody. It's just, I'm, I, for me, the Air Force silhouette that Nigo did was like that was for me. You know what I mean? Like with the patent leather, like that was whew, that was cool. You know, but like this, this like. Leather, whatever. This is patent leather. What are you talking about? It could be patent leather. It's just the toe, nigga. The toe shape, 
the 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 sole shape. I don't really shoe. know what's wrong with the shoe. I don't really think anything's wrong with it, but I kind of do. Like I don't know. I don't really know if I love it. I mean, you got a you got the shark. You, I just want to say something. You got the shark. Uh, the the you know the shark hoodie. You got that on this shoe. Why is that there? Uh, you got the the eyelids. Is just I just it's just everything. Patent leather. It does. It's just red red ass fucking uh star on it. I just I don't know. I just yeah. I might, I might got, agree with you. You even got the world's going mad on the back. I peeped that at the end. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just not with it. <laughs> well, you know, I I'm not with this. This is not for me. But shout out to homeboy. You know what I mean? He's definitely killing it for sure. Then I'm how's old, he killing I'm, it if he's wearing terrible shoes? Hey, hey, I'm saying terrible shoes for me, for Brian's foot. Him, he's <laughs> killing it. He's killing it. He's killing it. How do you know? Shout out, and then shout out to the guy with the cool grays, because I fuck with cool grays. Cool gray cool guy gray. was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm in this picture. Because I just Hell was like, yeah. oh, those are weird baits. Let me take a picture of that. And then I was like, dude, let me take a picture of shoe real quick. Because I didn't want him to think I was like taking a picture of his face, you know? And then um, and then the cool gray was, I was like, yeah, 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 right? You know, and I was like, "All right, cool, great guy. See you." Though. Yeah, yeah, cool grades, man. Don't don't hate on the cool grades, man. Cool grade elevens and nines. Nice. Anyway, I'm not I'm not trying to get Jordan people to kill me. So let's move on to this uh, Air Max. I've never seen this. I asked. This is like an older woman who was wearing this, and I was like, "Where'd you get that?" She. It's probably just a GR Air Max, but I've just never seen it. It's pretty cool. It's a it's an Air Max ninety. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's just a GR. Yeah, those, those, yeah, those are cool. Those are, those are solid. Shout out to her. This next Not section, okay. I want to ask you. I mm. bought these real belugas at. I actually didn't buy them. I let my brother buy them. But the point is, bought these 11 and a half belugas at fucking Goodwill. Guess how much they cost? I think those are like 500, 600, 700. Let's go on to the next picture. No, no I meant I meant a stock stock X. Sorry. Uh, how much? Is Holy it? shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I just realized. I think these shoes are fake. Why? Because like, they don't have the Adidas logo on the bottom. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have the boost. It says boost. I think. I think. Because I looked up the product number on them and I, I like bent them and, you know, felt the quality and lined up the lining, the stitchings and shit. And I was like, OK, I think these might be real. And I thought they were real. But now that doesn't say boost on the bottom. I think they might be fake. Um, that's Wasteland's problem now. <laughs> Damn. Yo, not, wait, wait. So wait, did you just test me right now? Just- did you just test me? Did you just test me right now? <laughs> no, I really don't know if these shoes are real or fake now. Oh, oh, because I was gonna say, like, I don't know, like, I yeah, I really research. don't know. Actually, I just noticed, like I said on the bottom, I'm not sure if if Yeezy if 350 say boost on the bottom. Let's see. Because I was gonna say, like, I don't know anything until I do research on it, as far as like, you know. No, it's like uh, that's what I'm trying that. to say. Is like the um, the oh, okay, no, no, they don't say boost. I guess they are real because, like I said, okay, this is what I'm trying to say is that they the product numbers and shit lined up like everything looked authentic. Like I checked the numbers, but wait, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Let's try one more time. Okay, yeah, it says boost where everywhere it should say. It. Because I thought it said it right here, but it actually says it over in this area that's not pictured. Now, now does Salvation Army and like you know all these places do they? Excuse me. Oh, do they do they look into that, or is it just like hey, if you get honestly, you get I told the people I was going to resell them, and they were really happy. But I didn't resell them. Like I said, I gave these to my brother. I think he resold them. But the point is, um. I told the people that I was going to make, you know, that someone was going to make money off of them. And they were actually happy. They were like, yeah, that's awesome. A lady came in. She did the same thing a week ago. They start telling me about dresses. You know, they always are like, she bought a dress. It was a, it was a Balenciaga dress, you know, or something. You know, I made that up, but you get what I'm saying? They always start telling me about some lady who found the thing. 
momentum. So yeah, lost you for a second, but yeah, point is they always just tell me about everything else that they've re that resold recently, and they encourage reset. Like it's, it's I think because I'm not white as well. Because damn sure everybody in the world is getting coming down on like white people for reselling. And I want to make this point or like, and I mean like reselling vintage and shit, you know, I'm not talking about like sneakers. I mean, vintage in general, like going to thrift stores or going to Goodwills and places like that and, and selling clothes and shit. I want to make this really clear. If you're mad at white people for doing that, you're fucking stupid. And if you want cheap clothes, just go to fucking H&M or... You can actually just go to the Goodwill. You can actually just go to the Goodwill and buy the old Navy. There's old Navy shit in Goodwill. It costs like, you know, pennies every time. So, and it's more shit is old Navy than is fucking single stitch T-shirts that white people are buying and reselling. So it's I just love really old Navy. I love old Navy cargos. You want me to cut that out? I cut that out for you. I'm gonna edit that out. Anyway, I'm <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> I hope my brother did make some money because uh, I think he put them on like a coat consignment thing or something. I don't know what he did. Point is, that, not my problem. Moving right along. I was going to say, all the Spanish ladies wear these and <laughs> they're fire. <laughs> Shouts out to all the Spanish ladies walking around LA wearing these. <laughs> I just want to get that off real quick. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, those are, those, those are big vibes, like big vibes, Reebok classics, you know killing it out here I, I fuck with the ladies and club c's and club c's i know well this. club c's is a whole different like we were giving respect to club c's last week so i was like i wanted to mm. tell i wanted to give classics some some love too because club c's i feel like more hip and cool people are wearing club c's but classic people are just classics people like you see what this woman's wearing these these uh these denim jeans with the with the, with the silly cuts. Those are front. jeans. I thought those were leggings. <laughs> you know, like she's she's a vibe. She's a whole LA vibe. That's what I'm trying to say. She's not like I'm hip and I'm I'm wearing these cool hip things. She just she just knows Reebok Classics. Go. I'm actually gonna buy a pair of Reebok Classics today. It is a smooth. It is a smooth. Yeah, Wait, I you want... doing suede? You doing suede or you doing? Yeah, uh, I want the uh... suede. I want to get the suede. You don't want to get the the nylons? I need suede and I need some suede nylon shoes like this. Like I need the suede with the nylon middle parts. Okay, okay. Yeah. I yeah, need yeah, that yeah. for just my collection. I have I've been getting a lot of like leather shoes and rubber shoes. Uh, you know? <laughs> like just mostly leather and rubber. So I'm like, maybe I should do some suede sometime. Okay. I think Reebok Classic's a good shoe to suede. Maybe I agree. Right. Yeah, move right along. Uh, this guy was this guy was swagging. I was like, "Look, what kind, what kind of polo jacket are you wearing?" I like it with the uh, with the Gucci hat there. You killing it. This guy had on some one. Just you know, nice downtown LA vibes. These are the guys. Oh damn! I didn't get the guy's shoes. I wanted to get his shoes. They were really weird. They were really weird Reeboks, man. It sucks that I did not get this guy's shoes. I really tried. Damn it. Oh, man. I really tried to get this guy's shoes, and I, I just took a quick picture. You know, some more downtown vibes. Those are, uh, they're not 574. I forget what they are, though. Those are 997. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is, uh, this is outside of the, um, of the, uh, Bad Bunny. The Bad Bunny drops. And I noticed people were wearing curry dunks and shit. And I was like, you know, get out of here. And they were being really mean to me, by the way, as well. They were he was like, asking no questions. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's, I was like, what, you know, have you ever walked up to a sneaker line and asked them what's dropping? You get the most yeah. disgusted looks and like rude people. They're like, you don't, you don't know, dude. It's not, it's not your, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's dropping. You know what's funny? I'm you know like, what's funny you say that? That uh, uh, I was listening to the, uh, the complex sneaker pod and um they were fucking talking to uh the Dave's quality beat. Um uh, the guy who made the DQM uh mm -hmm. Air Max 90 bacon. And um he does that every now and then he'll go in and be like, hey, what's dropping? You know, to the kids or whatever. And he'd be like, they'd be like, the the Yeezy 350s, you know, they be getting pissed off at him. Like, <laughs> yeah, like that's how these kids are. They were like pissed. They were like, what the fuck? They're like the fuck you don't. They they're like oh what? 
what? <laughs> I was like, I was like, is the I was like, what are you what are you guys in line for? Like, is it a dunk or something? They're like, a dunk? He thinks a dunk come <laughs> this fucking idiot. Like, and then like I had to go to like the back. <laughs> Honestly, none of these kids told me. Like, none of these people standing here told me that are wearing dunks. I had to go to the back of the line and ask somebody. And I go to the back of the line and I'm like, what's drop? You gotta go find a kid. He's just standing there with his mom. And you're like, hey man, what's dropping? He's like, oh, bad bunnies. I'm like, oh, bad bunnies are dropping right here, right now. That's cool. I didn't know that. Like, I don't, what the fuck? Fuck, I'm supposed to know that nice kicks is getting the bad bunnies. I don't give, like, yeah. I don't even think about shoes like that. I think about shoes like, what can I buy it on resale? Because there's no way I'm putting in this much effort. Like, this is worth more than, re- this is more than resale most of the time. Like, ju- it, not just the line, but the research and the line, you know? It's like research and the line thing. So, no, I, I, I feel that. I feel yeah, that. moving right along, though. This lady was homeless. If you notice, they have, they're like homeless and they have these big homeless swollen legs, you know? And you see what those shoes are? What, what are those? I can't peep. Those are off white, uh, off white waffles. Wow, someone blessed her. Whoa. You know? <laughs> That's a homeless person. That's their cart right there with the off white waffles. They blessed her. That's what's up. I was like, what the hell? Top 10 highs. I just wanted to show you that the streets are rocking them. Niggas know what's, what the fuck going on. Niggas already know what the fuck going on. This is just a vibe where I just wanted to make fun of this person for wearing hirachis, but also show. Just those, Boston, those Bostons look cozy. Yeah, they do kind of look cozy, but it's just the vibes of, I don't know. I don't think that person has good style. I just don't think this person has good style, either one of them. I think they have, like, very generical style, and they, like, buy one, like, Raph Simmons bag or something, and they think they're cool or something. It's like, get a life. Mm. Hirachi suck. I feel it. I feel that. <laughs> he said, Hirachi suck. <laughs> you said you felt it. He said, I feel that. I said, no, yeah, I'm yeah. about the Boston. I said, yeah, I'm about yeah. the Boston. About yeah, the yeah, Boston. I feel you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, move around a lot. Uh, this is just a group wow. of some – Hypester cool kids, the nine nine uh somethings. I never can spot I never know what New Balance is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be cool. It's just always like cool I'm new not balance. gonna lie though. I I can't even I don't even know from the back of that. What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, they were like they were like a, a, a troop of hip kids, guy with the threes on, the cements, you know, and then the guy with the foams on, and then the guy with the new balances on. They were a whole feeling. Oh yeah, I got a little bit better angle here. And then I don't. I didn't even I, know I'm what. Not, you see? Yeah, I don't know that shape. That shape. I don't. I'm not too sure. Even yeah, I took a picture way, because of him. him. Yeah, I took a picture because they look like they're bait. Even. I'm yeah. curious to see what those were. Damn. Yeah, I'm I was either. like, I, don't know I was very impressed. That's why I took the picture. I was like, this guy's killing it, but unfortunately couldn't see that well. Uh, you know, random people are still wearing wave runners. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, saw some. Uh, one of those Jordan, Air, Air Jordan yeah, Stevens, Stevens, Space Jams, oh. yeah. Space Jams, though. Those, those are space, yeah, those are the Space Jams, uh, 2021. You haven't seen those? They're like they're designed to be like Bugs Bunny, you know, like pink I don't, and white. With I, don't, I don't believe you. No, I, I mean, I'm, I, I, I assure you. <laughs> Jamal is getting the research right. He's like, it was good. We'll pull these receipts up off right, right up off you right quick. I don't know, man. You better throw a seven on that. Okay. There it goes. You know, you boy, you not got to put them receipts up. I don't know, man. I, I, to... I, I, I... Yeah, that's I just don't know about them. I don't know. I'm, I'm... It's not letting me pull up the damn app. You see him though. God damn it. It's not letting me pull up for whatever reason. Let me get a larger picture. They call Space Jam Sevens. Mm-hmm. Air Jam. Bunny Sevens. Yeah, Jordan Seven, Space Jam 2020s. Yeah, you don't need to go in. Hey man, they popped up. That's all you gotta yeah. say. We don't need to go. 
Uh, all right, all right. You proved your point. Yeah, right, it's man. over. It's right, not even. That's not even a I point. I don't. It's not even like a. Oh, there it goes. It's not even like a point. I'm trying to prove. I wanted to show you that they were. They have like hair, like bunny hair on them. You see it? Oh man, Peter. Can't, go get yeah, him. it's got like a bunny hair type of thing. And I was just like, okay, I see Peter, you, buddy. Peter. Peter, go get him. How you feel about these? You you rock a seven? You rock no, a seven? No, no, it's not for me. I just like. I just like. The idea of it no actually if i was gonna wear a seven i'd wear these though for sure yeah if i was gonna wear a seven i'd wear these before a lot of pairs i like now, gray and pink no gray and pink's a great now color. what what was he uh wearing um you see what he's what wearing he was wearing a gray no. jumpsuit <laughs> all gray no, up. okay yep. okay hoodie same exact shit you know it man Track Nike, right. Nike Tech. You already know the game. What you thought? This all right, all right, all right. <laughs> like, He's come on. He, he wasn't just styling, profiling. I'd wear it with some mom <laughs> jeans, bro. <laughs> like, I'd wear some sets with some mom jeans. Onker. Mm -hmm. Onker. This was some uh some hipply dress. Like I, uh, I like that hoodie. I like that hoodie. Yeah, a little uh. I like that hoodie. These were some slightly older people. So that's why I was like, let me get their picture because they look cool and they're slightly older than me. I said hoodie, but I think that's a yeah. It was like a jacket. Jacket, jacket yeah. I don't and know then, jacket. like I said, I want to show you that everybody wears cement threes. It's like the most hype shoe in the world. Uh, I think it's just like an Air Force. I think at that point, like you know, it's just like you're just throwing on some shoes. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think it's bad or good. It's just like all right. Well, you yeah. know. Shouts out to shouts out to Li Ning. Shouts out to all the shoes that I've I saw this week in the streets. Um, wait, you <laughs> wait, you keeping that in there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell, yeah. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it all that shit. You talking about your your uh your brisk racism? Yeah, that's amazing. You're right, stop yo, Asian hate. Yo, 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 that might that might not be good for the show. You better you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not good for your career. It's, it's great for the show. Like I don't like what do you mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one's gonna care, dude. They know that we don't hate. Like my my girlfriend's Asian. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe she could be. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. All right. Um uh, oh wait, 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 wait. I know where close to leaving but i had a couple things no we got a lot you got we're not close to doing anything we got all goddamn day i don't know what the hell you thought this was close right, to bet, leaving where are you bet, going bet, you got, oh you gotta, you gotta so go. there's a shoe that i'm i'm actually interested in i'm passionate about we're getting a little choppy just let you know uh oh that's because i'm doing a lot on the internet my bad hello my bad i'm sorry i was doing i was pulling up a lot of shit oh all right clothes and things the, 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 thing. the, 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 there's a shoe that I'm actually interested in, like for personal cop. It's a Reebok, and I guess the collab is an 81, like the, the other brand. Uh, it's 81. We got to check this out. Um, these are the type of shoes that I'm interested in. I like the Club C. I like the Club C, and I like the other, the other joint. Yeah, I'm not mad at this, at this guy right here, but that Club C is clean. Ooh, yeah, man, I love that. I love that that teal on the back. That's I didn't know that Reebok did that either. If you go back to the Club C, that if you look at the, you know, where the Reebok logo would be, um, it says 81. So I didn't know you could do that. Like, mm. they, they let you fuck up the logo a little bit. Like, oh, yeah. Um, you know, um, the shoe is cool, man. And 81 is done. They did an Insta Pump too. And the colors are amazing. And they did a fucking, um, it's called a Trinity Premier or a Premier Trinity or a Premier. And man, I've been looking crazy for these and I can't find them in my size. If anybody knows 11 and 12, I need it. Um, wow. This is nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are uh, these are it. Uh, you guys know how my earth tones and my my different tones. I like, really like, like this one. These are it. Um, yeah, this yeah, is these, good stuff. Shouts to eighty one. Yeah, yeah, eighty one did their thing. Um, 
also there's a another uh it's a it's a it's a Reebok premiere. I don't know if you want to look that up. Um and this is just my swag. I don't know if you want to look it up. Um uh, the the gentleman's name is Asamu. I'm sorry. Mutusuyo. <laughs> is this the one with all the colors? Uh, it's the one that I just sent you. Uh, yeah, with a lot of colors I, in it. Yeah, it should be his name. I don't. I can't read that. I can't read. Is it this one? I'll be the no. no oh no 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 no. That's the that's the Adidas. Oh, um, I wanted to give props to the, the gentleman who made it, but I don't know if you want to get into it. Uh, well, I gotta pull. Hold on, you gotta tell me. I don't know what the name of this. Uh, go back to the post of the Reebok eighty one. Mm-hmm. Man, they did that. a they they did a good fucking job, man. It's in the uh, it's in the caption. Oh, it's in the caption. Like it's in the post. It's in the post. Yeah. Um, they did a really good job, man. Yeah, yeah, I did a good job on these. I'm I'm really hyped on these. Actually. All right, where is really, it? Um. Go up, and then you. It's right there. Just type uh, like his name. Yeah, the link. Sorry, this gentleman right here. This is Tang. Shout outs to you. I'm so sorry I messed up your name, bro. Yo, you you that guy. I don't know if you want to give it a try. What does he do? I, I they said that if you put translate on the IG post. It says that he was behind this shoe. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, makes sense. That makes sense. Shout outs to you. Um, I'm a big fan of the the Kobe is cool, but I like the other shoe. Um, I don't know what model that is, but um, uh, that's that's my kind of shoe. Um, <clears throat> love the big Reebok on the side. Love the colors. Love the material. It looks like I can wear this in the rain, not mess up no suede, no nothing, you know? As much as I love suede and gum still, I love a shoe with some fucking material so I can just, like, you know, slip on and go. So um, this is my kind of shoe. I, I, I really like these. And I'm looking for your uh, Reebok premieres, just to let you know. So shout out to you. Uh I don't want to. I don't want to mispronounce your name any more than I already have. Okay. 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 Now, what was that uh, Adidas that I was looking at? What was that? Oh, it's an overkill. Um, it was an overkill. It's um, like a Mars Yard, or like a, a cover, Mars Yard cover. <laughs> I think the brand name is Overkill. I think it's a Adidas collab with them, and. Um, and the, I guess like the, the inspiration is the graffiti, so like you know the graffiti dudes they, they used to have the zip up uh that 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 zip up like all over suit or whatever that hazmat suit, so that when they're you know when they're graphing they can um they don't get no paint on them and then like that. So th- this is a cool shoe. Good buddies of mine actually are graffiti dudes, so. I just, it just, it just, when, once I heard that it was graffiti inspired, uh, you know, I was all in. Um, I think it's dope. I think it's yeah. super cool. And I'm all about color. So I love that there's my variety. Um, I love graffiti a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm all about that. I hate cool. the shoe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel that. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And I and I see where they got the inspiration from. It's tight. I, I'm I'm all about this. I'm all about this. Um, no, I was gonna. You know, we not with it. Bad. It's bad. Bad. Boo. <laughs> there you go. That's my only answer. Kind of like this. No, like, why is there so many different colors? Why is there a goddamn bag on it? Why doesn't the bag go all the way down? I don't, there's so many things that make me angry or sad about this shoe. Um, you can't like change the laces in any cool ways. You just got, you just get like one uniform foot lock. It, it's, uh, but I feel like it's only, uh, uh, like it's only one picture of this shoe, you know, doing only one thing. So maybe there is a zipper, 
maybe there is a way for you to like you know peel it or you know like maybe it's velcro the closer it know, looks maybe. the more i dislike it no i mean i'm not you're not we don't disagree on everything but man i hate this shoe yeah i can't even make uh, a pretty face like my face is just all crinkled up so there's not one colorway of this shoe that is like her. no this shoe looks like when you put your toddler in a jacket and then you send him to preschool you know and then you like and then he's like i don't want to wear this stupid jacket he throws it on the ground he's like i don't want to wear this stupid ass jacket like what the fuck is the, what the fuck is wrong with you what the, okay adidas or whoever did this like who, what the like what the shoot if you're gonna cover the shoe then it would be cool to cover it so so question we just talked about the eight uh uh, Vivian Westwood, which you hear what I just said. If Wait, you're what? going to cover the shoe, it would be cool to cover it. <laughs> Notice how this one's completely covered. <laughs> it like doesn't have some weird like, like look at this, look at this shot right here. You see that shot, the last shot, like how the bottom looks, and then look how stupid this looks on the bottom. Like literally, this whole liner, like look at that. It's like, what the fuck? It's all cut. Ugh, it's oh, all... okay. So it, it has a little bit of a flap going over the sole. Yeah, it looks so like a child. You... It looks like yeah, it looks like a child, like a Columbia jacket that a child's wearing. And they need to zip up the side, like so it fits properly. Zip it. Okay, I see your, what you're saying. You know, like this, this shoe gives me like anxiety and like just all types of like, why you, like, what the fuck, what the fuck. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do a only shoe I've ever seen, well, I guess like you said, we can I can say that Vivian Westwood shoe is literally this shoe, but twenty times better actually. Yeah, yeah, it's like literally, it's like Adidas was like, "Hey, Vivian Westwood's doing what? We can do that. Hey, we 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 can do a thing. We can cover a shoe. Hey, cover a ZX one thousand." cover it up and make it look stupid <laughs> because over at ASICS, they got fucking Vivian Westwood and they're going to make cool shit. So we're just going to, Hey, inspired by, inspired by graffiti. Bleh. Yeah, right. Inspired by graffiti, my ass. Inspired by your love of making money and the fact that you're a billion, a multi-billion dollar corporation. <laughs> inspired by that, we found out that people Googled graffiti 35 times. So then we made this shitty shoe <laughs> and, <laughs> and because of that. There you go. That's my, that's my answer. Sorry, Overkill. I know you probably did something cool in your life, um, but I'm, I'm going a, I'm to a trash this shoe. And I let you get all your love off first. You know, notice I didn't like, I try not to interrupt you before I went on this hate rant. But man, I have hate for this shoe. Um, Would you buy this shoe? Would you buy this shoe? I gotta see more colors. So that's an that's not a yes. I'm not gonna say it's a no, but it's not a yes. <laughs> okay, first off. Now, second off, would you buy this shoe for thirty dollars right now today? If I said if I said I have a shoe a size that is, you say you're an eleven and a half, twelve, and say I have a size twelve. So I don't have eleven and a half, but I got a size that's almost your size. But I got it for you right now. For $35, will you $35? Give, hand me $35 for these shoes that are slightly out of your size, slightly, but you wear that size too, you know, but would you spend $35 for these shoes right now? I'll spend, I'll spend $35 on any shoe. Um, not any shoe, but like, you know, like- No, this shoe, shoe right have... here in this colorway, in this blue colorway, looking like a Columbia <laughs> jacket from- you know there's a lot there's a lot of colors in this picture you want me to do nope, this colorway blue, yep this colorway right now 35 dollars. i got you right now 12 size 12 here you go here you go here you go man take these take these come on just give me the money yeah. hold on hold on hold on let me look let give me me the money. Zoom in a little bit more. oh the price just oh. went up 45 dollars. would you buy these shoes for 45 dollars? that's funny you said the zx you know what it is i don't like about now that i look at them a little bit more detail um i don't like the uh there's like a clip in the back yeah. Uh, there's there's like right. something that like that like you know clips it in the back 
I see what the inspiration is. I love what your the inspiration, inspiration comes is from. pants that turn into shorts. Yeah. <laughs> like their inspiration yeah. is not graffiti. That is pants that turn into shorts. You're not gonna tell me your inspiration is oh uh, we went to the dope graffiti artists. We told we asked them what they want. They said they wanted fucking Nike dunks. They were like, Yeah, we want dunks, dude. <laughs> like they were like, We're Adidas, we don't have dunks. They're like, Well, you asked us what we wanted, we want dunks or Air Maxes or some shit. Yeah. And then they were uh, like, Okay, well, would- if it was Adidas, what would you want? Like, All right, we'll take a superstar. I'm like, well, we already did too many superstars this year. Can we just do something? And he's like okay, we'll just make whatever you want to make, Adidas. And they were like, okay, inspired by the graffiti artist, we took a ZX-1000, we put a bunch of weird shit on <laughs> And like, <laughs> I was like, man, we've never worn this, man. And they were like, well, you know, and then, and then they tricked you because you were like, yeah, I love graffiti. So I got, and they're like, yeah, we got him. <laughs> we got that nigga, Brian. <laughs> we got this nigga. Now we, can, now we can move on and shit on him, you know? So um, I'm just... I, I, I wanted to bring it up to see where you were at with it. Um, I, I obviously, like, like I go through phases with shoes. And um, I don't know. I just feel like um, I, just, I just go through phases with shoes. Like, you know, like, obviously the sample pictures, you know, the pictures that they come out for actual promotion. And then, like, you know, and then, and then like, actually in my hand or whatever, you know. So it's like I got I to gotta go through phases with it. Um, my initial you know, look of it, it was cool. I thought the concept was cool, but obviously my mind could change if I if I see this picture in my hand. I mean, if I see the shoe in my hand. Um, you know, I would love to un- un- unbutton that and just to see, you know, it how far unveil, it goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unveil what the fuck, you know, this shoe is actually is and everything. So. You're right, because I may love the shoe. I may turn around and just be like, oh, wait a minute, actually, I like this now. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah we can next that, man. We can next. I love the variety of colors too. I'm all about colors. Yeah, I so. actually hate the variety of colors. I think the I think that's like the same thing, which is like why? Why not? You just gotta see couple colors. You got, but I mean, but you gotta see what works and what works. I mean, yeah, we we may not have needed to see that, but like you know. <laughs> Yeah, this is important. This is important to see what this silhouette looks like best in, you know? Um, um, I was going to say, too, I don't know if you want to throw this out there, the New Balance 5740 um, packaging. Uh, Wait, wait, New Balance 5740? The New Balance 5740? Oh, zero, yeah. oh, okay. I know what you mean. The fifty-seven forty. Okay, I know what you mean. So, and it's like this slash forty. Yeah. What about it? You love it? Um. So, po- I mean, the model is like uh, it's like whatever. Um. But the packaging is like really the fucking dope. Uh. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, the packaging is really dope. Um. I like it. I like the packaging a lot. I'm all about packaging. So, I don't I can't look up pack- of the packaging. How'd you find them? I sent it to you, IG. Oh, you sent it to me already? Yeah, yeah IG, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Let me pull it up. But, uh, yeah, bro. Like, I thought that the packaging was cool. It was like, what you do know, you mean, though? I- was it a collab or was it just all the packaging ever to come out with. Hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. In the post, what I read was that it was just like, you know, inspired by like toys, you know, oh. toys and stuff like that. I was big on toys. I was big on, big on action figures and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so. well, that's the, the thing is, you see, I'm watching this video now. You see, this is a, a brand called The Hook. It's a collab. The hook DHK. Oh, say so this. It's All not right, every right, five right. seven fifty seven forty is gonna have this packaging. This is just from this brand, the hook. And, and just like is- just like the first comment says, though, just like the first comment does say, I'm not even gonna read it aloud because the everyone can read this here. And allow me to read it out loud. It says Bape's been doing this. I don't know if you know that, but Bape's been doing this. 
Yeah, the Marvel collab, yeah. Just uh-huh. so you know. No, but Bape's always they've been putting a lot of their shoes in in like these plastic boxes like this. It was it, but it was the Bape collab. It was the um, oh. it was the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was the Bape Marvel collab. Um it was like the, you know, action figures, mm-hmm. comic book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they inspired. That that's why they put it in that in that packaging. Okay. Um it wasn't like they were throwing them all in there. They it was only the Marvel collab. The rest of them um, got boxes. Okay. Um yeah. Um, but but um, yeah yeah yeah. They, 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 that was cool. What was the brand name again? The Hook D H K. The Hook. That was cool, man. That was that was cool. Um, that I'm was mad. tight. And I mean, Hold on. colors colors were cool. I would like to know, like, so like, do you feel like companies are like, like, like put more detail into like what? I mean, I might have needed to research a little bit more on that collab, but like, you know, what what was like, what was it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they didn't say enough, you know? What do you mean they didn't say enough? Like, they didn't like, say Like, what enough. toy? What toy? Oh, yeah, like, what about? toy? Well, that's yeah. the thing. Uh, that's the thing. Like, what? Like, okay. That's kind of why I, I wasn't. So let's, we're going to have to click on clicking well apparently you see they're all coming like this it's just their aesthetic i guess i'm not gonna lie yo just off of that reaction that you just had i'm not feeling you anymore you saying you're pissed off the what yeah i'm not i'm not feeling it anymore i'm not i'm not feeling it what Um, the, the the shoes yeah, yeah, I'm not feeling the whole thing anymore. And I'm all about packaging. And I thought the packaging was cool, but there was it was like, yeah, they did it first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what what is yours based on though? Yeah, exactly. I don't see any I don't see any reasoning for it. And it's like you just you threw you threw some shoes into some packaging. You know, you threw some shoes into like a a, a packaging of a of a of a of an action figure. That's that's cool, but like, what is your shoe based on? You know, um, it's just based on any any action figure. Yeah, I'm looking um, too, and I don't. I see don't know anything that says anything like action figure or anything like that. It's just like, do you feel me on that or my bug? Yeah, like, no, no, I completely, bugging? I completely feel you. That's why yeah, I'm saying. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that. So when I sent it to you, I thought like, oh, okay, like we're gonna like dive deep onto some like you know. There's some some concept and there was there was no concept. It was just like packaging. Mm-hmm. It was just like okay, we're gonna throw it in an action figure packaging. So yeah, not very. The hook, the hook. Shout out to you, but yeah, there's nothing else I see really to talk about. Um, wait, wait, but um, but yeah, man, it's been a pretty cool episode. I, I like it. I liked our conversation today. Um, yeah, man, it was dope. Anything else that on your mind as far as the sneaker culture and offset? Honestly, pretty much, pretty much that's it, man. You know, not a lot happening, but uh, I feel like we found some things to talk about. Yeah, next week we'll come back. We'll talk about everything that's dropping in April. And that's cool. that is, you know, some Nikes. Nikes are going to drop in April. Um, I hear Adidas is gonna drop some some sneakers. Um, a couple Reebok releases, some A6 stuff, some New Balance. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna help New Balance. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think New Balance is. Wait, I might have to look that one up though. New Balance is coming out. In, yep, yep. New Balance is coming out in April. Um, probably some. Romanos, is that those are shoes? Yeah, Romanos, is what those are. Some Ling Nings. Yeah, some Ling Ning. Yeah, Ling. I forget. Yeah, Ling Ling. Need Ling. Yeah. Uh, stop Asian hate. <laughs> and with that being said, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I'm Jamal. Jamal. I'm Brian. Yo, like, subscribe, follow comment the page, stuff. comment about how all my takes are wrong because they are. And I love, but I love you guys for listening.
if you listen this far, then man, I love you even more. See you next week. New best shoe pod. Yes, sir.